princess, for people that don't know your story, you got from where you came from to America, like if you can take a minute and just give your background on how you came to America, because as an immigrant myself, you know, America's like, I remember the first time I landed and I went to the airport. I'm like, I can't believe I'm in America. What was your journey from where you came from to come to America? Well, um, from where I came from to America um, is a little complicated. So this is like a two-step story. Like when I come to America, even the first time, that story was different from where I left my country the first time. Because I came in America the first time I had a job. They picked me at the airport with a limo, brought me in the four-star hotel. Uh, four-star hotel, you know, check me out and have people around me. And uh, I think that day I called my mom. I'm like, hey, your son has made it. <laughs> 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 yeah, because growing up, my, to the good That's cool. yeah, growing up, my dream was always to go to America. Yeah. But how? I don't know. So I didn't see myself like coming in America in the red carpet as I did the first time. So my mm. first day in America... Not only I, I was in the fly, um, there was somebody at the airport waiting for me, taking my suitcases, you know, bring it in the car, uh, drove me to the hotel, mm. then they checked me in. I wasn't speaking any English, but they were so like, oh, Mr. Ngano, this, Mr. Ngano, that. I'm like, damn, finally in America? This what is city America. did you land in? Orlando. Orla Orlando. Of all places, Orlando. Yeah, that so was Mickey my Mouse first fight. So Mickey Mouse showed up. Who showed up to, to greet you? Uh -huh. Like in Orlando, it's it's Walt Disney World. That's what it's known for over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, what kind of pageantry was going on when you got there? No, really. But I think like at that moment, <laughs> he was all America. Everything yeah. that I was seeing around uh, was so impressive. And just the idea that I'm in America, mm -hmm. that America that I've been thinking about, you know, like growing up... Uh, um, I've been naming myself like uh, American boy or the staff <laughs> and they've been naming me with a lot of nickname, you know, um, because I loved America and I, I always been in America. But that's the way that I came in America was a red carpet. Mm -hmm. But it's a different story compared to where I went in France, in Europe. You know, that is a different story. That's when I migrated there and that wasn't fun at all yeah. you know <laughs> because i left my country first of all without knowing where i was going and i couldn't even tell my family because uh, when you tell somebody that you're leaving the first question is like to where where i don't have no destination so you, once again you're crazy you're out of your mind how oh, you're going somewhere that you don't know where you're going you know um and that's how i left and it took me over a year. Then, uh, I mean, I went, I, get, I get end, ended up in Morocco and trying to go to Cross and go to Spain. And um, it was a long process, a tough process, you know. And I was there for one year before I made it. So uh, we were uh, attempt, uh, attempting, like uh, in the ocean with the um, flatable boat, like those small boats that they use in the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. um, couple of time, I think I fell six times. I fell, uh, and then I've been in that thing so much that I ended up became a captain, even though I didn't know how to swim. But I know how to like put the boat in the water, to, how to check the weather, how to manage the wave and everything, and put the boat in the water, put my... Um, my friend inside and start a paddle so that was good enough to be a captain you know <laughs> we trying to uh defenses uh to go because there's two lands in uh, morocco uh, which belong to spain uh in the west is ceuta and in the east is melia no west and no east is uh, melia so and those are just protected by fences multiple fences and barbed wire security on this side, security and on other side, high security. But we always like trying to find a blind spot to like attempt. Um, sometime we succeed, sometime we fail. 
most of the time we fail because the security is so high with infrared, uh, everything that they have to uh, protect the the border because the barbed wire is on uh, about, I would say, uh, 10 miles, you know, and that's all the, uh, the border. So um, trying that couple of times fell, fell in barbed wires and all the stuff, but um, always love water, even though I didn't know to swim and had a feeling that that's where I'm going to meet it. That's crazy. Yeah. Even till today? Swimming? Uh, I have trying to take some courses, you know. <laughs> I have a pool in my in my house. I'd love to meet your teacher. I'd love to see who teaches you how to swim, like to hold you. That picture of holding you. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's gonna hold me. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.